Welcome to PVTV International. I'm going to present this week's editions of our news roundup. News of National Unity Government Adding President Duala Shilar Open Inclusive Humanitarian Conference This week, Adding President Duala Shilar Open Inclusive Humanitarian Conference for Myanmar, he dedicated the virtual conference to the people in the ashes whose homes and villages have been destroyed by the Myanmar military. He assured them that they are not forgotten. Since the coup of February 2021, the Myanmar military has burned and borne 75,000 civilians' homes, schools, clinics and places of worship. Troops also routinely burn food supplies, agricultural equipment, vehicles and other civilian access. The acting president commanded NUGs and partners to working together to find practical solutions to Myanmar's humanitarian crisis. Running from September 23 to 26, the conference is co-sponsored by NUD, the National Unity Consultative Council, and the General Strike Coordination Board. The 200 participants included representatives from the Karen National Union, the Karen Interim Executive Council, the Interim Chen National Consultative Council, and many others. Representatives of embassy, United Nations agencies, and civil society organizations were also present. The NUG calls on international organizations to provide military, political, economic and diplomatic assistance. The NUG and its alliance are not only fighting the military, but also working for systemic change, said the NUG in a statement on the situation in Myanmar, issued on September 20. The statement detailed efforts by NUG's People Defense Force to protect civilians and its zero tolerance policy with respect to violence towards civilians. The NUG asked the international community to support the struggle against the hunger and systemic change. Ministry of International Cooperation NUG welcome 116 million US dollar in humanitarian relief provided by the United States. On September 24, the NUG Ministry of International Cooperation applauded the United States announcement that it will provide 116 million US dollar in humanitarian aid to Bangladesh and Myanmar. And the ministry asked other nations to provide humanitarian aid as well. Ministry of Health, Dauda Sowiso attended World Health Organization's events held in the United States. In New York, Ministry of Health, Dauda Sowiso attended both the World Health Organization WHO meeting on Universal Health Health on September 22 and the launch of a WHO report on September 19. Dauda Sowiso and Dauda Tuangshui meet with Myanmar families in Australia. Ministry of Health and Education, Dauda Sowiso and Dauda Tuangshui, NUG representative in Australia, met with Myanmar families in Australia during a town hall meeting in Brisbane, Queensland. The meeting was organized by the CRPH, NUG supporters group of Queensland. The meeting provided an opportunity to reaffirm the Myanmar diaspora in Australia's commitment to democracy in Myanmar, exchange warm greetings and provide updates about energies and the progress of the Spring Revolution. Ministry of Foreign Affairs Foreign Affairs Minister Dozi Mao meets Lithuanian counterparts linked Myanmar to global crisis of democracy. In a meeting with the Foreign Minister of Lithuania, Gabrielias Landsbergert, on September 22, NUG Minister of Foreign Affairs Dozi Mao connected the struggle against the military council in Myanmar with the global crisis of democracy. Myanmar's military council is a threat to regional stability and sustainable development in Asia. Minister Dozi Mao and Ambassador Udo Moto meet the elders. Minister of Foreign Affairs Dozi Mao and Deputy Minister U Mo Zou. Minister of Health Dauda Zowiso of the Ministry of Health to the National Unity Government and Ambassador Udo Moto. Permanent Representative of Myanmar to the United Nations met H.E. Mary Robinson. President of the Elders and former President of Ireland, former President of Mongolia, H.E. Abidot Sakir, and former President of Colombia, H.E. Cornelius Santos. The meet was held 
at the Office of the Permanent Missions of Myanmar to the United Nations in New York. On September 21st, discussions included an exchange of view on Myanmar's situation. Ministry of Communications, Information and Technology, United States promises to continue its effort to take action against the military violence. NUG Minister met with Daniel J. Kreitenbrink, the U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for Asia and the Pacific, on the sideline of the 78th United Nations General Assembly on September 21st. Kreitenbrink and the team pledge to continue their efforts to address the atrocities committed by the terrorist army and the NUG Minister of Communication, Information and Technology in statement following the meeting. Ministry of Human Rights Announcement regarding NUG positions on human rights for 54th meeting of the United Nations Human Rights Council. The National Unity Government issue is that Universal Periodic Review Report in March 2022 and the statement reaffirmed NUG commitment to align Myanmar responses and positions with those presented to the representative in Geneva. This includes the official abolitions of the death penalty, the ratifications and signing international human rights treaty, and additional agreements and collaborations with the International Court of Justice in the Gambier Myanmar case and increasing women's political representations and decision makings at all levels. Furthermore, NUG affirms its dedications to Myanmar's Federal Democracy Charter as a framework for transforming the nation into an inclusive country grounded in principles of human rights, equality, justice, peace and the safeguarding of minorities. The NUG also call on the international community to support these ideals for the benefit of the people. Ministry of Natural Resources and Environmental Conservation NUG announces the discussions of Myanmar Gems and Jolly Entrepreneurs Association benefiting the Military Council. The NUG Ministry of Natural Resources and Environmental Conservation announced on September 17 that it has dissolved the Myanmar Gems and Jolly Entrepreneurs Association and its affiliate. The dissolution is based on a review conducted by the Ministry, which found that the work of the associations benefit the Military Council through legal and tax means or by other means and that the association has not acted in the best interests of the public. The ministry stated that, that entrepreneurs and employees who continue to operate within the associations using the access and funds and acting in its name to support the military council may face legal charges under the existing laws and regulations. Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management Raising awareness and improving disaster management to mitigate harm to civilians The Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management MOH-ADM is implementing Surveillance Harm Reduction Initiative and Disaster Prevention Measures in line with the one-year plan. The Ministry started in a recent announcement. Experts in relevant fields are conducting humanitarian needs, assessment causes, and surveillance harm reduction and disaster responses training. In addition, the Ministry is carrying out psychosocial empowerment program and safety causes in townships where the interim public administration is currently being established. Summary statement from Associations for the Assistance of Political Prisoners AAPP, dated September 22, 2023, addressing the ongoing situations following military coup. As of September 22, 2023, the Myanmar military and its accomplices have killed a total of 4,100 civilians, including democracy activists, since the military coup on February 1, 2021. APP has complied a separate list of approximately 450 individuals who have been victims of murder, whose names are still subject to ongoing investigation and verification. 
In addition, a total of 24,832 individuals have been arrested in connection with the arbitrary violence, with 19,260 of them remaining in detention. Out of those detained, 7,364 individuals have been received prison sentences, a total of 107 individuals who have been sentenced to death. Among these, 119 individuals, including 43 who were subjected to death in blind judgment, totaling 150 individuals sentenced to death. The number of people who were released after being arrested is 5,572. These figures are combined by the AAPP. The actual death toll may be even higher. Let's see what do we have for our weekly roundup news in coming weeks. Thanks for watching PVTV International.